amazing. Ah, yeah. thank you. So do you. Oh, thank I you love so that much. scarf. Wait. Is that uh, um, the Nightmare Before Christmas? Yes. Yes. That's one of my favourite films ever. What's oh it my called? god! The, Nightmare the, Before Christmas. The Pumpkin King. What's Jack yes. Skellington. Oh, congratulations. I love this show so much. Um, and I find, I went into it thinking you were going to be a couple against the world. But actually, ten minutes into it, you surprised me completely <laughs> with that car accident. Um, how was it reading this script for the first time? What was, was it shocking when you were like, oh my god, yes? It was... Like, reading that script <clears throat> for the first time, I remember thinking, I've never I've never read anything like this um, coming out of the UK. It was just literally like nothing I'd, I'd ever read before. It was just so incredible reading it on the page. I could like visualize everything. Um, and like all of the twists and the turns and like different character dynamics and stuff, it was just like constantly keeping you like mm. wanting to read more. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if like, obviously well, we read a lot of scripts as actors and some of them are like. <sighs> yeah, it was one of those where like, even if I didn't get the part. I'd still be watching. I'd still be watching it, but I, I would have been like really gutted. Cause yeah. it was one of them, you read it and you go, I want to do that. Oh, where are they filming? Tenerife. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I want to be in Tenerife as well. So it was one of them that it just, it just, obviously you, you always put effort in for everything you go up for, but there are those special ones that come along that go, no, I really want this one. Yeah. And who knows, you might you might get it, you might not, but I'm glad we did. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. it was really fun. I'm glad you did too, because it's such a great, yeah. <laughs> you were so good together. Was there an instant chemistry between you pair when you met? Do you know what, yeah, I actually, like, I think me and you from, from the get-go, mm. we had a, it was in our, on our minds, we wanted to be believable. Because a lot goes wrong for these characters, and so we'd seen shows before where a lot of the time the the the, the characters who were in a couple like they bicker a lot, mm. and because we both were very aware of that from the get go, we were like we want to remind the people that yeah they do love each other and why they love each other. So yeah. when stuff goes wrong in real life, they just I just do one. You just kind of yeah <laughs> yeah no, like you know yeah. if they didn't get on, you'd be like right well this is a she's just ran over a, a copper. I got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know I mean, yeah, but yeah. there's a reason they stay together, yeah. and I think. And I think even that, like, just me and Jack as people, <clears throat> um, I think like when we met in the, at the chemistry read, it it just was very easy. I don't know how it was yeah. you, but like it was really easy, and I think we kind of just like seemed to be on the same page within our acting styles, and like and we, we grew up, we grew and up stuff. in the same way. We, like, we same, went to the yeah. same school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't, didn't know each other. Didn't know each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Different, different, both, different times. Yeah, different times. Like, <laughs> <laughs> both in yeah. both grew up in South London, so like there was a lot of like um, things in common, like off the bat, and yeah, we kind we of built places. up a bit of a rapport before we even started the scene. So it was just exactly. kind of easy to go into. It wasn't like awkward. Yeah, no. Yeah. Exactly. Amazing. And what I love about Cindy is that she's such a survivalist, mm -hmm. and she's gone through so much. Even the first episode, she just stands her ground. How was it getting into that character? Ooh, um. I think at first <clears throat> I struggled a little bit. Like I was having like major imposter syndrome because <laughs> Cindy is like on the page, she's like this amazing, like confident, front footed, you know, survivalist woman. And in real life I was like, oh God, I don't know if I can do <laughs> no. that. <laughs> oh, man, that's, but you it's know, there, it's in yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's the thing, but it's just, it just took a bit to kind of go, no, 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 like actually me, me and Cindy have a lot in common. Um, like obviously I'm not like a killer or anything but well the w no, <laughs> that one time <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, anything yeah. Jack Sorry. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but it was I think it was I think because Cindy's so layered um, for me as an actor it was it was great to just really like dive in and like peel everything back and find out why she's the, the, the way she is um, and just have fun with it you know what I mean and just play it as authentically as I could. Amazing, and you do it so well. Oh, thank you. And I, what I love about your character, Gene, is that he's the youngest, but he's definitely the smartest of the three brothers, and he's always looking for a way to propel himself in the, in the Lord family. Well, that's his natural way in, isn't it? Like, there's, there's almost like, in that criminal world, in fact, those who, <clears throat> It's those with brains. It's those who think. I mean, it's never. It's never. I'm not. I'm not saying Gene is is in any way like top, top, top don or anything. But like, it's always the ones at the top. They don't do any of the dirty work. Hmm. They get everybody else to do it. Mm. And I do think Gene does have his wits about him. Mm. He understands business. He understands how to be when talking to drug traffickers or whatever. He he can he performs. Whereas someone like Leonard 
or, mm. or well, actually all the brothers, mm. De- uh, Leonard Kelly and... Even your, bro- even your dad, your dad actually, yeah. Either, yeah. They're too emotionally invested. Mm. Gene's able to, to switch off. So mm. he's definitely... That, that was always his... Um, he even says it himself, what I lack in muscle I make up for in brains. Mm. Absolutely. And I, what I really like about the pair of you is that you're always looked as the younger couple. You're always called boy, you're always called girl. Mm. And that sort of... I feel like they have to like fight against what, how people view them in this show. Yeah, I suppose like Uncle Tony, yeah, he goes. Yeah, I guess the muchacha. Uncle T- <laughs> That's Spanish for girl. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, I guess Uncle Tony is like yeah, it's, it's, he's being super patronising and condescending. But I think us, I think, I think we're probably as a couple fighting against everyone else's perceptions of us more so because of how quickly we've come together and then the circumstances like surrounding our relationship. So we, I feel like we've we got our own thing going yeah. on as well. So we know how they, it's all very layered, isn't it? Like it's all like, it's all very layered. We, just watch the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 uh, we never think that. Do you no, know what I'm no, no, we no. We feel as in the characters feel they've always got each other's backs mm. or they've got, you know, they've got each other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking with me today. It is a great show, and I really hope you have the best of time with it because it's so oh, good. And enjoy the thank you watching. so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.